Previously on Engineer Boy, we have already learned the design or size determination of a square water tank. And now we will be designing the size for a circular water tank, which is actually the same method explained in the last video for a square water tank. As we have already understood the basic concept, so we will give solution to a problem as we always do. Let's say if we are asked to select a suitable size for a circular water tank to store 20,000 liters of water for a residential building, note that the tank depth should not be more than 2 meters. That's good. And this is actually the same problem as previous one. So as you can see, the depth is limited to 2 meters which means we will have to make a few trials like per depth equals 0.5 meters, 1 meter depth and per 1.5 meters depth. Also if you remember this is going to be circular which means we will have to determine only the diameter of the tank. So without wasting your time I'm coming into the solution and in the solution if you see the tank capacity is 20,000 liters of water which can also be converted into cubic meters if we divide this video by 1000 because 1 cubic meter equals 1000 liters of water or liquid you can say any type no problem. So 20,000 divided by 1000 equals 20 cubic meter of water as the capacity of the tank. Now if you remember the tank is going to be circular in shape in a plane or cylindrical in solid form if you assume that which means the volume of the tank must be area of the base times height or depth of the tank or volume which is of course 20 cubic meters equals area of the base. If you remember the tank should be circular so area of the base must be pi d square divided by 4 times the depth to make the volume. In short terms, the capacity of the tank which is 20 cubic meters must be equal to pi d square divided by 4 times depth. And now which one depth? Actually we will try for a few depths and then we will analyze the diameter of the tank for each depth to select a suitable diameter for the tank. So let's try per depth equals 0.5 meters. So 20 equals pi d square divided by 4 times depth which is of course 0.5 meters. Or 20 equals pi times 0.5 divided by 4 that must be 0.393. So 20 equals 0.393 d square and divide both sides by 0.393 to get d square which is equals 50.90 meters and now by taking the square root on both sides we can get d which is going to be the diameter of the tank equals 7.13 or you can say 7 meters. So this was our first try. Now we will apply the same method for depth equals 1 meter. Of course we will get the diameter of the tank equals 5 meters and similarly the diameter of the tank per depth equals 1.5 meters must be 4.12 meters. And finally, the diameter should be 3.56 meters per depth equals 2 meters. And that's it. So we have 4 trials and now we will analyze each trial to select a good size. So let's try from trial number first. As you can see, the depth is much less with respect to the diameter of the tank with which I'm actually not happy. And what about trial number second? 1 meter is the depth and 5 meter is the diameter of the tank. Well, it makes enough sense if you see. Still, however, I'm not happy with the depth, which is not enough according to me actually, because I know the environment on side were there. Uh, that's not suitable. However, you can neglect that, no problem. According to you, if it's suitable, you can choose it, no problem. Actually, I'm happy with the trial number third because of a suitable depth in diameters. So I prefer to follow depth equals 1.5 meters and diameter equals 4.12 meters per the tank. And that's final. Still, however, if your area is limited, 
then you will have to analyze each diameter to satisfy if the diameter is adjustable in the limited area or not. Hey, if you like the video, please hit that subscribe button, press the bell icon and never miss an other update from an engineer boy. Thank you dears for watching. See you next time. Hello, salam.